Dear friends, uh, Reformation Sunday is coming this week. The mighty fortress is our God. It will be again sung in many churches. It's a battle hymn of Lutheran Reformation. Thick with references of fight against the powers of evil. The ancient foe, a grimming prince of darkness, the world filled with and under the control of devil. And interestingly, those are not just uh, metaphors. From Luther's sermons, table talks, and his letters, we know that it went beyond that. That was not a metaphor for his earthly enemies. He believed in the physical existence of devil. And furthermore, he underwent a number of hallucinatory episodes when he saw or experienced and certainly talked or rather had a shouting match with devil. History textbooks and Sunday school lessons uh, are quiet about it because when Luther spoke about devil, his normally colorful language became outright obscene. But from the uncensored Martin Luther, we know that he not only hallucinated devil and engaged with devil in shantic meshes full of obscenities. At several occasions in his life, Luther was throwing at the hallucinated devil not only scatologic words, but the very stuff itself. And that is something you might not know about Martin Luther. Luther might be a father of reformation, ushering the modern times, but his own worldview and his personal religiosity were permeated with a contemporary vulgar German culture and infused with the late medieval superstitions and prejudice. We should not hide this truth. Luther remains an important theologian and reformer, and at the same time conflicted, highly problematic, deeply prejudiced, vulgar, medieval German hick. How is it possible? It remains a miracle of divine grace. Come this Sunday, as we combine or merge together Reformation celebration and Halloween, and what we can learn from Luther and his relationship with witches, or how Luther's superstitions can help us fight our contemporary prejudices. And as our extra credits for Reformation Sunday, here we have an uh, historic uh, woodcut uh, which uh, Lucas Cranach did for Martin Luther under his instructions, as we know. And on it you can see a female devil uh, giving anal birth to Pope and all papists and uh, figures of Medusa and death taking care of those newborn papists. Uh, uh, here you can see really that kind of anal humor of uh, Reformation. <laughs>